Hi everyone, welcome to the 83rd session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn how fit and transform works and again how fit underscore transform works. In other words, we will find the difference between fit transform and fit underscore transform. So as usual, we will import the pandas data set and we will uh, read the import the pandas data set and we'll read this data pre-processing in the pandas and we'll see what is the content of this df.info so we have the country age gender occupation and all the other columns so what we are going to apply in this example is we'll apply the imputer and we'll see that there is no null values no. so for that what we'll do df dot is null dot sum so we can see the age, occupation, employment, status, employment type and salary has a null value. Age has null value, occupation has null value, employment status does employment type and salary has null value. So what we'll do, we'll create an imputer and for the age and salary, we'll remove the null value. So what we'll do from impute imputers, okay, now what we'll do, we'll create an object of imputer. imputer and then missing underscore value is equals to an n strategy is equals to mean and uh, access is equals to zero so what we have done here we have created an imputer object with missing values as an n and uh, strategy is the mean that we will use and then we'll execute this okay it should be values okay now if you just go and type imputer dot tab so these are the values which it will like the variables and the objects which is created at the back end the strategy is is nothing but mean similarly you check the other values get par all this so once we create the like fit it we'll get some more values so what we'll do we'll do imputer dot fit and what we are fitting we are fitting only the df what we'll do here we'll fit the age and the salary column comma I'll we'll execute this now once we fit the once we fit the like imputer with the first function fit function now the number of the number of variables and objects which is created at the back end is increased so we'll take this suppose statistics this is nothing but this is the mean value of my age column. If we type here dot mean, and similarly for salary, if you type this is, you can see right this value. So this is all. It like uh, it will when we uh, execute the fit function, it will create at the back end the, the values that it will pass when we execute the transform function we'll also look at some other function like we'll see what are the different uh, values so here these are the, the things which is created now what we'll do we'll imputer dot transform till now if you see your df it's still there are there will be null values both in the age and the salary column now we'll transform apply this transform so now if you see df so what it has done it has cre it has created the values where there is no null value but your df is still the same it has null values because we are not saving it so what we can do we can save it in some other column say x and this x has two value two columns so now this value whatever we have there is no null values this is how we can do the transformation so this is how like we apply fit and transform in a separate step now if you want to apply that in one step so that is simple imputer that is simple like imputer dot fit underscore fit underscore transform and then you just pass this age and salary so this will be applied in one step it is doing all the calculation at the back end and it is providing you the value output value so this is one of the examples like i have used imputer we apply imputer to like remove the null values and how fit and transform works in a separately and also in one shot now next is i will show you how label encoding works and how the mechanism of uh, fit underscore fit transform and fit underscore transform works separately so what we'll do we'll do we'll create encode is equals to okay before that we'll write comma label encoder 
okay the label encoder is created the object of label encoder is created now if we want to like uh, in this case in our table we'll take the first column country will uh, apply the label encoding on the country column so what we will do so before this if we encode dot this time okay, we will execute this line now so these are the functions these are the like several uh, uh, objects functions will be created at the back end now what you need to do encode dot fit and df what we will pass country. the moment we pass this after this now you can see there's a one more uh, classes is added so these are the different classes brazil these are the different unique values in my unique values in my data set specifically in the country column so once this is done what we need to do we need to transform it so these are my for brazil the value is 5 england and all not like this so what I will do, I will take, uh, if you see here, for Poland it has assigned the value of 4, for Spain it has assigned the value of 5, for Germany 2 and again Spain 5 and Germany 2. So this is how it is like assigning the value and this is how fit underscore transform works. Now if we want to directly convert in one step then in that case dot fit underscore transform the same result will come but fit underscore transform works in one step and where in this case we are working in two steps the sole intention is to show you how the backend uh, variables and the object is created that uh, created through fit and that is being input to transform function and uh, show one more example how we convert the data using uh, how we use standard scalar and how this fit and fit underscore transform works. so what we'll do we'll import num num5 and then we'll create a array np dot array one okay so our uh, array is created now in order to create this uh, standards uh, like scale the data set through standard scalar what we'll do So first of all, we need to create an object, right, of standard scalar. So we have created this object, right, and then after that, we will scale the x underscore is equals to. Here I'll show you first how fit underscore transform works, and then I'll uh, show you how fit and transform works separately. Okay, so this is my transformed variables. Now, the formula to calculate standard scalar is the formula to calculate a standard scalar is xi minus x mean by standard deviation of that feature. So, what we'll do here is xi is all these elements, okay and the x mean is the mean of this value now, now you see this what is the value of mean of this kind of scale 4 5 6 now if you take the first column okay 4 plus 1 is 5 5 plus 7 is 12 12 by 3 is 4 now for this 2 plus 5 plus 8 is 15 15 by 3 is 5 and for the third column 9 plus 9 is 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 9 is 18 by 3 is 6 so the mean of the each column is 4 5 6 that's how it calculates the value at the back end again if you see the standard scalar if i give dot it has so many features right transform the way it even has the variance This scale is nothing but a standard deviation of each column. Now, if we calculate, how do we calculate the standard deviation of each column? That is, mp dot std and x1. 
okay so the standard deviation of first column for the value is 147 okay if you see uh, x uh, x1 colon x1 comma 0 this is 147 first column now again if you see second column this is how we navigate and if you see now if you see the if you take the standard deviation of the second column and even the standard deviation of the third column is this sorry standard deviation of the third column is the same this is how we calculate now if we want to apply uh, like the fit method dot fit okay now if you see the standard scalar just type this there are so many things will be created at the back end and when we pass this like uh, scale values okay these are nothing but the standard deviation and again after this if we get params and all these things will show you whatever is created at so what we'll do now we'll transform it using So you can see it is transformed easily how like using that xi minus x mean we already have if you see the STMD mean is already there for all the three columns xi we know xi is one and what is this uh, standard deviation also you know standard deviation is also here not this one sorry Yeah, this is the standard division of each column. So that's how we uh, like. So that's how we get the transformation using fit and transform separately and also together in this case. So thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.